D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now I'm going to be showing you how to connect to Mr. Bishi City Multis using the MN converter I believe this is an older one uh, there's a newer version I don't think there's gonna be any difference in the method okay so you need your uh, MN converter uh, I want to step on my wires uh, and a computer right you need a laptop right preferably preferably a laptop you don't want to be you know logging a whole desktop around okay so the first thing you want to do make sure your laptop is fully charged like i'm stealing power from the uh main power supply as you could see here again this video so videos is for pros and beginners not do it yourself or this is commercial uh hvac so i got i'm stealing line one over there and ground you know i'm cheating power from my laptop okay so what you're going to want to do is connect your uh clips from the mn converter the wires you got a red and white wires with the with the, with the alligator clips on the end and you're going to go to tb3 right tb3 i don't know if i if you you can't see tb3 because the wires the the, the red is right here this is tb3 right here of the connection on your left it says indoor slash outdoor right just follow the geographical geographic location of where my clips are those two red clips right there right there that's where you put them if you're outside that's where you put them on the other side to the right that's for your uh central controller um props if you put it here put your connect your mn converter to it may work may not work i don't know i just uh, that's where you put it uh once again that's tb3 right those are on tb3 okay so once that is done all right you're going to plug in the usb cable from the back right here see all right and then you're going to plug the other end of the usb into your computer and from there the magic will happen okay let me get you a tag as well there it is doesn't matter the model once you see the multi you can do this uh, step on my cables all right so let's go right now and i'm literally whoop, over the edge all right so we're gonna uh so you're gonna have to have the uh maintenance tool on your computer i have mine installed already and it's all here if you don't know don't know where to get it i'm going to leave a link to this software and, and the uh, video description so just check down in the link down below in the link all right so let's launch it so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna launch it okay you're gonna get this message right here you're gonna click yes let it load that's the latest version okay and you can see now i am good because uh i'm using this uh, uh cmns mnge mnge it's cold freaking freaking cold up on this roof here so my lips are but my mouth is a little frozen and i'm on com4 and that's where my you can see the same cms mng right see the right there com4 com4 so if your ports is good it will show up in this corner right here if your ports is good you will see this screen here all right once you launch the software now if you don't see this if this is not here that means you might be on a wrong port you know you got to get your port configured uh, all right check your ports on your computer all right so let's uh move to the next step i'm gonna select it select and it's gonna go ahead and load it sys load up see my reflection in the screen it's cold up here got the view in the meantime while it loads up but it's loading up it's take a little bit to load up freezing up here man okay so there it is so once you hop you're gonna get this screen right here and um, you're gonna just uh, if you know where everything is just uh, you can do manual but uh, 
auto it selects everything for you so just it's auto simplest way and let it count right now it's going to be doing one see so phones as a tr as a central controller on the system and that's i see so it's going to populate all the units indoor units and then the outdoor units that's on the system that's connected all right so that's going to take a bit probably take two or so minutes so i'm just going to wait and while it's doing that uh you can enjoy the view so yeah you get into once you get into uh into the everything is populated once you get once you see the outdoor units more than likely you're done and you can just hit cancel all right so just let's just wait for it i know that we have probably 25 indoor units because these are the indoor units right now i see these are the indoor units all right and uh the one that's your address so this is address number zero one zero two zero three and then if you go down to the tens line you know so this one right here will be number 10 this will be number 11 12 13 14 so on forth and if you go down to the 20 line this will be 20 uh 20 and 21 22 and so on and so forth you know that's how you do that okay so we can see that uh currently Unit indoor number 13, we're at is a 66 so 6600 arrow code. Alright, see that? But let's let it populate, it's doing its thing, it's building up. It's building up. Alright. So if you know while it's doing that, I could point out a few things here. Uh, this right here is your Mnet board, and that's what I'm connected to. Alright, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you. The terminal it says tb tb3 and central i'm gonna go on this side again this is real time real world real hvac simplified if you want to connect uh your mn converter to the city multis so here you can see clearly you can see tb3 right there tb3 okay and tb7 goes to your central controller all right this is the main control board all right let's get back around because i know you don't want to see all this you want to see the good stuff the juicy stuff but we have so far we have pretty much uh connected to the system the computer is reading all the indoor and all the outdoor um units so let's just see what we got now if we are done i think we should be done by now uh no we are we are at uh we're at uh 44 it's going up 48 is going fast now because there's nothing there all right so now we get to the first outdoor unit 51 there it is right there oh see that's the master and there's a sleeve that's connected to it that's 51 and 52 and this is these two right here so this one here is the 52 as you can see, 5-2, five, 5-2 two. Five, two on the rotary dial. This is 10s, this is 1s, okay? Get it correct. 5 and 2, 52. And then that over there is 51. Okay? So we are... Pretty much now I can go... Ah, oh, this damn helicopter. Making noise. All right, so I can stop this, this count right now because I know that there's nothing there. I'm done. I've got my OC, my master, and my slave. This one here is those two over there, and there's a problem, as you could see. I'm only seeing the master, the slave is MIA. Right, so there it goes. So something is wrong with that um, Mnet board or something. I don't know, I gotta go and troubleshoot. Right, let's cancel this out. So I'm done now, there's nothing more left here. All right, so there you are, you're in there, okay? That's you connect to the system. I'm gonna go show you how you check your error codes. All right, so I'm gonna go malfunction log, click at that, and uh, I'm gonna log into the system and show you the pressures and everything. And then that's it for this video. If you got questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. Okay, I mean this is a this is a you know there's a lot going on here, a lot to do here. Uh, it's gonna be like a tour or video if I want to go over everything. All right, so you know how to get in here. Again, you need this component. 
So here are your error codes on the master 51. Uh, 1202, preliminary discharge. Uh, so, uh, let me, there's a lot of, pre, uh, this, a lot of uh, discharge thermal sensor trouble. So that's the, the sensor on the discharge line. I'm gonna show you that sensor. I'm gonna pull it up and show you that sensor on the actual, you know, operations diagram. All right, so let's close that out. Click return. I don't know if my finger the gloves. What's going on here? Let's close the malfunction log, please. Okay. All right, let's go into system monitor to see the system pressures and everything. So I'm gonna go here, because this one is running, right? Even though it's missing a one of the condenser, because there's two of them, just like this one here, two of them together, that makes up the capacity. So something is wrong with where one of them is missing. I think, uh, oh, come on, focus. Come on, what's going on with the camera now, man? The camera is acting up. Okay. So I'm gonna go to this one here, right? OC master number uh, 54. All right, so I'm gonna click on monitor. And then I'm gonna click on the OC right here. And then I'm gonna click, uh, where is it? Uh, I double clicked, gloves and the keeper and the touchpad doesn't work well okay monitor we'll see right here and then you click confirm so you click monitor so you get to see the pressures and everything and the system you click monitor you want to see the pressures temperatures and what the compressor is doing the fans is doing you click monitor you click the the unit you want which is and in this case i'm choosing the oc you can choose whichever one you want i click the oc and then confirm pops up in the bottom here you click on confirm. Oh, whew, freaking freezing, dude. Doing this video for you guys up here. All right. All right, so it's gonna load, right? So it says loading. Camera is acting up too. I think the camera is also cold. No monitoring, please wait. So it's loading all the system parameter and the graphics. Let's wait for it. Again, if you got question regarding this, leave it in the comments, I'll answer them. Uh, it's going to be a long video if I go through all the details of what this thing can do because there's a lot. So it's, it's loading. It's taking a little bit, but it's coming. Okay. And while it's doing that, let's make sure that our wires are still connected and we didn't lose communication because sometimes that will happen or can happen. Okay. So we're still good. Uh, okay. So... What's taking so long, buddy? Come on, man. This is real time, real world. And I'm freezing. Real time, real world. <laughs> there it is. Voila. So you got the model uh, number of the unit and the address right up top. And um, you can see here. So uh, this is your high side pressure, is it? Or is it low side? Oh that's, oh, that's pretty low. It's just one. Yeah, that's, 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 that's low. Why is it so low? That's, that looks too good. Uh, we're in heating mode. Uh, let's see, TH4. I got a little cheat sheet right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up so you can see that too. All right. Some other personal stuff on there too. But yeah, it's all right. I think I could, I could show you guys this. Okay. So there's a little cheat sheet right here of what these things are th5 th2 what they are okay you can make anyways let's get back to the diagram because if you got questions about this just leave it in the comment section will you um so there's another diagram here i'm gonna show you that before i get out of here so this is your operation side it's what you see this is all your indoor units down in the bottom here Get us connected indoor units. If you had a, a branch box, you, it'll be shown up over here. The connected numbers that are the ports on the branch box. All right, so that's the indoor units operating, stop, status, mode, state, the fan, and you got uh, your, all your temperature readings, your, thermo your thermistors, 
yeah, metering device position, set point right here. Okay, you know, this video was just to show you how to get on here. All right, so let's just go and show you the final thing that I want to show you. Again, if you got questions regarding this, leave it in the comment section. Click on refrigeration diagram. And this is a beauty right here. All right, you can see real time what your compressor is doing. Heat exchanger. Fan is spinning up top there. Suction gas, discharge gas. Here's a compressor down here. Okay. So that's how you get into it. If you don't know how to use this, it's it's I, I can't do that in this video. All right. But if you don't know how to use it, you know you can ask me for questions in the comments, and I'll answer them. Okay. So I can scroll up. Now these are the indoor units. What they are doing. So you can know where the you know, on the on the on the note on the my computer I was showing you that the acronyms what they what they go for like th3 th2 now you can see right now th th3 right here is 50 59 degrees right that's the indoor unit and you see that's the gas that's flowing in which is doesn't quite make sense <laughs> because you know if, if we are going in here it should be it should be hotter over here than it is over here right because we're in heating mode unless we're in cooling mode all right, so there's something all going on with these two sensors, right? 6 to, one de 6 to 1 degrees and 59 degrees. But anyways, that's it for this video. All right. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Videos uploaded on a weekly basis. Again, if you have questions regarding this, I can help. Uh, just leave it in the comment section.